गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टेक लेक्चर ऑन रेस्पिरेशन एंड फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग रेस्पिरेशन प्रोसेस वॉट इज रेस्पिरेशन रेस्पिरेशन इज ए फिजियोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस विच इन्वॉल्व द ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स सब्सट्रेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल ग्लूकोज आइदर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन और इन द एबसेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन to give carbon dioxide water and energy energy is in the form of atp that is also called the energy currency of the cells since this respiration process takes place inside the cell so it is also called the cellular respiration you can see in the figure also the respiration process which involves the intake of oxygen and to give carbon dioxide water and energy so respiration is basically of two types first is aerobic respiration which takes place in the presence of oxygen and next is anaerobic respiration which occurs in the absence of oxygen it is also called alcoholic or lactic acid fermentation this is the aerobic respiration pathway which involves glycolysis krebs cycle and electron transport system this is the anaerobic respiration pathway which involves glycolysis and fermentation so we all the living things whether it is plants or animals exhibits the process of respiration in plant also when you since this course is post harvest management so i will talk about the respiration after harvesting of the produce as we all know all the living things whether it is plants animals birds insects all exhibits the respiration process to get the energy but when you harvest the now a uh, crop the respiration process continues to go on so the respiration and ethylene is the main factor which determines the quality of the produce after the harvesting of the produce means if you are going for example if you are going to harvest uh, mango the quality will depend upon the how what is the respiration rate what is the ethylene emission this all determines the quality of a mango or a vegetable or a fruits that is harvested and respiration is measured in the term of respiratory quotient that is the ratio of o2 consumed and co2 evolved based on this when the respiration process is high the ethylene production is also high so i have already talked about the this fruits that based on the ethylene production there are two types of fruit that is climatic and non climatic fruits now the what are the factors that affect the respiration process when you harvest or produce there are many factors which affect the respiration rate the first is temperature when the temperature is high the respiration rate is high so the self life or post harvest life of a produce is decreased for example you keep uh, you keep a mango or banana at higher temperature it will lose its uh, post harvest life very shortly but keep it at that low temperature this life is enhanced now uh, you can also notice that in winter season the you can keep a product for a long time than in the summer season next factor is heat stress when there is a high heat and uh, then the respiration rate becomes high so naturally the post harvest life is decreased but when this this heat stress is beyond the thermal death point that enzyme protein gets denatured and phytotoxic symptom you can notice 
next factor which of determines affect the respiration is the chilling stress this uh, respiration is normally reduced at low temperature but uh, you may notice that the certain commodities increase uh, increase in the respiration dramatically occurs at the till chilling temperature or when the commodity is returned to non chilling temperature next factor is oxygen and carbon dioxide in general the oxygen concentration in air is 21% but when you reduce the oxygen concentration below 2 to 3% there is a reduction in the rate of respiration so a reduction in the rate of respiration means less ethylene evolution than the increase in shelf life of the produce but uh, one thing is that complete removal of oxygen is not recommended it will lead to the fermentation process so uh, this is going to deteriorate the flavor and quality of the produce the term uh, you must have heard that a controlled atmospheric packaging and modified atmospheric packaging is all uh, goes on the principle of uh, maintaining the oxygen and carbon dioxide concentration inside the produce so next factor is the stage of there are various uh, types of uh, uh, vegetative or floral or uh, you can say that the storage organ we consumed in our daily life but when you talk about the respiration rate that vegetative or floral mealstem for example asparagus and broccoli exhibits a high respiration rate so its shelf life is is less as compared to the tuber and nut crops which have a very low respiration rate so you can for example potato so you can store it for a longer period next factor is stress and injury there are various type of stress which occur during the cultivation or after the post harvest uh, physical stress occurs during the cultivation harvesting and this all determines the Uh, the uh, respiratory behavior of a produce the tissue injury increase the rate of respiration and induce the ethylene production so which may further catalyze an increase in respiration and with the consequent loss of quality other stress is water stress when a produce goes under the water stress it stimulates stimulates the respiration rate next stress is biological stress stress like diseases also increase the respiration rate next factor is surface of tissue when the outer covering of a produce is thick there is a less respiration rate and more is the shelf life you can see in the figure also by the outer coating of the strawberry the shelf life of the strawberry is enhanced up to 61 16 to 21 days from 10 this surface to volume ratio smaller is the food fruit larger is the surface area so high is the respiration rate but when the size of the fruit is larger less surface area and so less low respiration rate occurs growing condition growing condition like culture practices irrigation fertilizer this all determines the respiration rate for example if you give a high nitrogen fertilizer it increase the respiration rate but the calcium fertilizer decrease the respiration rate next factor which determines the respiration is the application of chemical when you apply a chemical like malic hydrazide methyl cyclopropene polyamines like pyrimidine spermidine and spermine it slows down the rate of ethylene production and respiration so higher is the shelf life but when you apply the chemical like ethylene acetylene propylene and ethylene it has a positive effect on respiration rate means the respiration rate is enhanced so these are all the factors which determines the respiration rate